John and Rachel from Yajagov, and we are right here at Monster Jam. <laughs> I mean, nothing better than PPG Paints Arena on the coldest day that we've had yet, <laughs> but with the coolest person that we can meet, a chick driving this monster vehicle. It doesn't get any better than this for me. Right, hey, right. Do you so, mind being referred to as a chick? We don't mind if no, it's a chick to no. chick, right? No, no, okay, no. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. We got to watch you take this thing for a spin, and it was super impressive. I was up there high-fiving myself. Yeah. Aw, thank you. Especially the drive we had coming in here today. Yeah. It was like, we needed this. Yeah. We could have really used this. You're Kristen, right? Yes. And and your father invented Grave Digger. He did. And here you are at 20... 22. Two. Yeah. Driving this thing around Pittsburgh. I love it. So What's the history of Grave Digger? Like, why was it even called Grave Digger when your dad invented it? Uh, so my dad created Grave Digger back in 1982, and we are from Kildova Hills in North Carolina. That's where Grave Digger originated. And we grew up like my grandfather and his grandfather. We were kind of farmers, had humble beginnings, and my dad had the itch, the bug for motorsports. He was the first one in our family that had a bug for motorsports. And he just all the time was fixing up junk cars, fixing up junk trucks, wanted to go fast, and he fixed up this junk truck that he would mud bog with and his friends made fun of him and they're like Dennis you're not gonna that thing's a hunk of junk you're not gonna do anything with that you're not gonna win he said I'm gonna take this junk and I'll dig you a grave and he did he won the whole event and they called him the grave digger for <laughs> no, no, no. that's yeah, a yeah. great story yeah. Yeah. Wow. Tell it so well. the, are you the only child are there other children no I actually have three brothers I'm my dad's only girl Oh my yep. god, do they all want to do this? Or oh, they all, it? yeah, okay, yeah. So yep. I have all... two older brothers that compete in Monster Jam. I've got Adam and Ryan, and they Digger. race for Team Digger. They've been doing it for longer than me. They've okay. been doing it for like 15 and 10 years. I'm going on my fourth season, and then I have a younger brother, too, that wants to get involved. So, What were practices like? Oh, well, we practice all the time at Monster Jam University, which is actually based outside oh, of MJU. Illinois. Yeah, MJU. Yeah, yeah we practice at MJU. So I did a lot of training at MJU for the Triple Threat Series before we actually came out and competed in live events. So I did uh, the whole, basically the whole year of 2016, I put in a lot of work. And then 2017, they let me loose. I was out on the road. And I've been competing out on the road since 2017. This is great. Now, Grave Digger is such a crazy brand. Like, there are lunch boxes, there are Hot Wheels, there. What's the craziest thing you guys? have seen sort of replicating some you know that well oh. what what do you think is the craziest thing i would have to say the craziest thing for me was seeing my dad made into an action figure they made a <laughs> dennis anderson action figure oh, and i was no like way. this is crazy That's like kids crazy. kids hang out like they play with this it's like my dad he's in a fire suit it's got his mustache and everything and i'm like this is crazy dad kind of right before valentine's day pittsburghers celebrate valentine's day with monster jam so that's pretty cool it's near and dear to us but i know there's something near and dear to you guys there's a charity that you guys are working with and it's indicative yes. of your helmet we yes. have to kind of talk about so uh Mar monster jam has recently partnered up with saint jude this year's children's research it. hospital and we are so proud of monster jam for partnering up with them because here at monster jam anybody knows if you come out to any of our live events and you look around probably about 95 percent of our crowd is going to be small children and so they mean a whole lot to us the kids do mean a whole lot to us and so we have used our platform because we do have so many fans we travel all around the world with monster jam and so we're trying to use our platform to to kind of spread a little bit of awareness and help people to know more about St. Jude so that they can donate because their donations, that's that's 100% what they mostly rely on is donations and it is 100% free for any child that comes there and receives any kind of treatment. So they don't see, their family doesn't see a bill for treatment, doesn't see a bill for housing or food. So they they have, it costs a lot of money to kind of run St. Jude every day. So us, Monster Jam and even our Supercross and everything has came together and we're trying to spread a little bit of awareness about it. So, about if, you, it. so if you guys are ever in the checkout line and they ask you, hey, can you donate a dollar or two dollars, three dollars to St. Jude? Please, I encourage you to do it. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. So what are we doing tonight, tomorrow, tonight? and Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday? Yeah. Yes, tonight. So we got a show at 7 o'clock tonight. The doors are going to open at 6. You can come and get settled in. The trucks are going to actually hit the dirt at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow, we're actually kicking things off with a pit party. And that is an opportunity for people to come down on the dirt, get up close and personal with me and Gravedigger, take pictures, sign autographs, and everything else. That you can get online. You can go to monsterjam.com and purchase your pit party tickets there. That starts from 1030 until noon. At noon, we clear the floors and we get ready for a show at 1 o'clock. Then after the 1 o'clock show, we reset and we have another another race at 7 p.m. on Saturday and then if you miss the pit party we have another one on Sunday right before our one o'clock show so you can get all your times information tickets at monsterjam.com or you can buy them at the box office have you ah. ever done this before oh, oh, never. Oh, right. all those shows do you get dizzy 
<laughs> oh man, if we can get going, honestly. I mean, four shows a weekend. Sometimes we do yeah. six six competitions a weekend, and it is a competition. It's it's not staged, it's not scripted. So we really are driving as hard as we can to win. I actually Pittsburgh is always going to hold a special place in my heart. This arena because I won my very first championship here. We knew that. So we, that's why we wanted to say happy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. It's our jam anniversary. Yeah. Jam anniversary. We love it. <laughs> this is where I won my first overall event Sweet. championship. So I'm very excited to be back. It's been four years. It's been long enough. All right. We're happy to Take, have you. All right. We're happy to Take have us you. out by giving us one of those Sunday, Sunday, Sunday things. So make sure you come down here to Monster Jam, PPG Paints but Arena. not just Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Right. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday and, and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> That's awesome.